Okay, it should be good now, guys. I don't know what that was about. How did you get in here? Your window was open. Sure, sure, sure. Huh? No, it's not. Either way, I'm on the top floor, so how did you- Lynetta sounds like a girl's name, right? This Lynetta is obviously the girl you stood me up for, isn't she? Uh... Okay. How- Okay, even if she was, why are you even in my house? What is her deal? I knew she'd be pissed. I slammed the door in her face. But not so much that she wouldn't notice any of the things obviously wrong here. Also, if you guys didn't know, she is my sugar mama and she pays for my rent. So, that's important. Why doesn't she care about those freaky things stalking me outside? Or that my room was full of evil idols and ritualistic tokens? I can't explain all this stuff. Let me guess. Accursed devices used to channel eldritch magics and do the bidding of outer gods. Uh... Well, yeah, exactly right. Did you just randomly guess that? Well, I've just been playing coy. I know exactly oh what you've been doing. Oh my god, are you into this? You know what this is, don't you? A book. It's a golden version of my book. She's a freaking demon, too. She's a demon, too. The book I used to perform rituals for Lenita. Her looks way more ornate than mine. Considering I ended reality with mine, I can't imagine how dangerous hers must be. Wait a minute. The sky. A suspicious man outside. They all match Missy's book. Is she making all of this happen? Oh god. When I expected her to do something crazy, I thought she was just gonna show up with a hatchet or something. Missy, look. I'm sorry, I just got wrapped up in something. Please don't- Sorry? You're sorry? Why are you acting so afraid of me? You broke into my house, Missy. My house. <laughs> oh god. Could it be that you know what this book is capable of? Demons. I know it all too well. But I also know that these incantations take at least five seconds to pronounce. And that's if she gets it right on the first try. So worst case, I have five seconds to stop her. If I dash for my ritual knife behind her, I might be able to kill her before she does something terrible to me. If I can distract her, I might be able to buy myself more time. Missy, look. I'll do whatever you want. Anything? I can be rather... demanding. Oh god. Name your price. So bold. In that case, I have three commands. Number one. You'll address me as your highness from now on. So when I come home, it's welcome home, your highness. Hell no. No. When she comes home, she wants to move in. But what that, that might means, whatever. It's not like I'm going to have to actually follow the all these years. At least one of us is about to die. <laughs> as you wish, your highness. Number two. You'll quit your job so you can spend every waking Oh, hell no. Me. You're one and only. She's fucking, she's sick in the head. Sure, whatever. It's a little bit more until I'm sprinting range of that knife. You are about to die. And number three, you'll obey every order and whim I have, absolutely, without question. No, you, you want me to be your to slave. You literally want me, no. Is there an option? Absolutely what? Oh, God. Absolutely, your highness. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> If you will do whatever I ask, then there's no need to use any of these dreadful spells on you. She's threatening me. As a matter me. of fact, I believe you can help me with them. Here. She just handed over her book without a second thought. Yellow energy pulses and crackles from my fingertips. She... Is she not here to hurt me? Oh, confused. I've liked you for a long time. And you're a capable bookkeeper. Handsome to build. Thank you. There's no reason we can't simply work together. So I am a bookkeeper. You like me. After all, a relationship based on threats of violence and fear is no good, right? No. Right. We nearly escape with our lives. For now. But something is bothering me. How does she remember that I stood up to her in reality that ended under... La Latita La Lali Ah We're awakening And how does she get in through my window? I thought she was able to climb several stories just like that. 
and then pass through my locked window without breaking it? There's only one possible answer. All right, your highness. I'm ready to enter my lifetime of servitude to you. I just have one small request first. Bing? Could you tell me what this is? Huh? She can't pronounce Your it. Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire? What about it? So you're an Eatrich guy disguised as a human. What? How did you figure that out so suddenly? No one can pronounce Worcestershire sauce. Except for demons. Isn't it obvious? No human can pronounce Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Where? Worcestershire. Of course not. It's an eldritch alone word. Why else would it be spelled like that? <sighs> I was careless. After all this time, I wasted trying to seduce you in this slovenly form. Oh, God. What does your real form look like? You should have tried using your eldritch form instead. I would have fallen in love immediately. What? I, yeah, I'm kind of into that. You think cosmic entities are attractive as a human? Uh, guilty. <laughs> 3D women are fine, but fourth dimensional girls with non and Lucian geometry are smoking hot. They got curves I can literally get lost in. <laughs> if I had known that you're attracted to my cosmic godhood, I would have just led with that. Oh god, I'm kind of scared to see you. Allow me to properly oh. introduce myself. I am Esther, King in Yellow, heiress to Carcosa. Charmed, I'm sure. Nice to meet you. The other girl, Alien, was more prettier, in my opinion. She's gorgeous. A bona fide Eldritch King in my room. Oh man, all my fantasies are switching an Eldritch horror coming true. The King in Yellow. Sounds familiar. I can't remember why. My memory of all my existing is kind of fuzzy. What do I remember is that her followers tend to be incredibly violent towards cultists loyal to other gods. Like Lita, shit, I kind of got swept up in the moment. I almost forgot I already pledged fealty to a different god. This reality or not. The other girl was a lot more attractive to me. Which, I'm not attracted to tentacles, but I'm just saying. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching.